Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Bernard Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. So I want to apologize. Normally, I always send my customers a video, but as you can see here, I've been battling uh, a losing fight against the contact lens that I had on Saturday night. So I've been a little bit of subconscious making videos, but I decided, hey, I can't let this uh, stop me from getting in the way. So I'll not focus on myself and focus on more of the RV here. I'm inside this awesome 2021 Winnebago Spider S30 Max. This is definitely the nicest bumper pull uh, toy hauler that we have available. So we do have the two Happy Jack bunks here. They're in the seating mode. If you want to raise and lower them to your uh, preferred position, you just press and hold this button and they will go up. I'm hooked up to our golf cart for 12 volt power. So I can demonstrate some of the systems to you here. Uh, of course, if you want to turn it into a bed, all you have to do is roll these down on each side. It's got the adjustable feet and you can sleep four adults back here comfortably. You do have the queen bed on top ladder here whenever you want to transport all you have to do is lower this into the bed mode raise this up all the way now the bottom part is only powered the top is not so the top relies on the bottom so when you're raising up the bottom it hits the top one here and then you have these uh quick connect pins to lock it uh wherever you want and if you want to store wider toys all you have to do is release uh more pins on this side and these will drop straight down to give you a little bit extra width and you can store uh, the ladder underneath the mattress up here. And then we have this freestanding table that I have set up over here uh, in the slide. You have a really awesome slide on this one. It's pretty unique. The slide goes all the way from here down past this uh, little wardrobe down here. So it's one slide, but it's a long one and it's not super deep either. That way you have more uh, room in here while you're moving your toys. Uh, same concept with this one. If you want to fold it up to get more room uh, while you're transporting, you just fold this forward and then you have one strap that will hold it up just like so and then these uh, legs here collapse uh, but I'm going to just put it back down here as you would most likely see this in the seated position not as a transport as much. You also get a super comfortable recliner here that one is freestanding you can put it wherever you want it includes a awesome uh, large television here, high definition. You also have a Jensen radio, it's AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth, CD, DVD, USB. And these speakers, I gotta tell you, they sound much, much better than most RV speakers inside and outside, which is something I really appreciate. Um, I just really hate going in RVs and you know, you're spending X amount of dollars and not getting uh, great quality audio, but that's not a problem with Winnebago. Just generally speaking, everything from the wheels up is gonna be upgraded on a Winnebago versus others. Let me just go ahead and walk you through to the front real quick so, I, so you can get a full, uh, full view of this camper. You do have a private master door here, king bed, secondary entrance. Ours already has the second AC. A lot of other dealers only order one. And I got to tell you, as things start heating up uh, next year, it's going to be harder and harder to find AC. So if you have one with two ACs, you're going to be much better off. These also have a true track AC system. It's much better, uh, higher efficiency than others out there. And this Winnebago all the way around is going to have better insulation versus others. We also have storage underneath. It just lifts itself up just like that. Battery disconnect is uh, located there out of the way. You also have uh, USB and regular chargers on this side of the bed. A ward here for storage. Really beautiful cabinetry, very solid. What you would come to expect from Winnebago. It also has these nice uh, stainless uh, deals here to hold it open. Secondary thermostat so you can dial in the right level of comfort. Same chargers on this side as well. Your ward here, nightstand. And you also have a pocket door for space efficiency to go in and out of the bathroom. Really, really great size bathroom as well. Uh, I really enjoy this floor plan. They laid it out very, uh, very efficiently. You have a great size shower here. And these uh, spiders are also taller than most as well. So you're gonna get a really great size shower. So I'm about six feet tall, still plenty of headroom. You'd have to be really tall to uh, have your head in there, but this one's a really great size. They do use porcelain toilets and also stainless steel sinks. So whenever you're brushing your teeth and shaving, that's much more sanitary, of course. Very nice medicine cabinet. And because the ceilings are so high, you can't reach the bathroom fan. But what's really great is you have these controls here. So you just press that to open and close. 
and I don't know how the weather is in California, but it's very cold and rainy here in Texas, so I'm not going to keep that open for very long. But once you have that open, you just press this button on the side, and that turns the fan on as well, which is really great. Porcelain toilet, which is reserved for high-end RVs. Ton of storage here for toiletries and linens and everything. We'll head back out through this other door. This also has a 12 cubic foot propane electric fridge. A lot of brands are going to all electric, but this is a tried and true design. They've been used on campers forever. And it's really as if they put two uh, six foot fridges here and combine them, uh, which is why it is so spacious for longer stays. You do have storage up top here as well, tucked away. Really deep cabinets all on the side of the fridge. They really utilize just about every bit of space they could here. Return for the furnace down there, safety device for CO2 and propane. And let me just take a step back, let you look at from this angle. Coming back to the kitchen, let me show you this ward here. Ton of storage, which is really great all over the place. Drawers. They glide very smoothly. This is wired for solar. This is a go power system, but ours does include the Onan 5500 watt generator. So I wouldn't really advise using solar unless you're really, really gonna go off grid a lot. Secondary thermostat here, light switch control for the generator there. Residential power microwave, it'll very quickly and evenly heat food. Rain should, it actually works. It will vent outside. Here we have a glass insert to give you additional space. Front one is for boiling or two are for simmering. Oven here, pot and pan storage here. Industrial style uh, faucet, it's very strong. It's not cheesy like others. One piece under mount stainless steel sink for sanitation. Storage underneath here. More drawers for utensils. Overhead storage here. More overhead storage here. We're just going through every single cabinet here. It does have uh, vents here to let uh, gas fumes out. You have a ton of tie downs, breaker box there, furnace uh, exhaust there. What's great about these Winnebago's is that you don't have furnace ducts in the floor. A lot of people don't like that. It's harder to clean. So having them off to the side is really great, especially if you're pulling toys in and out of here. Just a ton of tie downs all throughout there. Of course, this does have the um, patio setup. It's on casters. I wish I could show it to you, but we're right up against the fence. But they just roll out. They're much easier versus others that I've seen where you have a bunch of pins to move in and out. So that yellow latch there, uh, all you have to do is pull that to open the ramp door. It's a zero G door from Winnebago. So it's super light. It's going to save your arms and your shoulders versus others that are out there that are super heavy. Uh, it's just like a featherweight, really easy to use type deal. It also comes with a magnetic screen that you can put to keep bugs out, which is really unique. I think it's a smart idea versus having uh, those types where you have to roll them up like a tent. It's really great. So that's going to be this area. Uh, make control panels can be located right by the door so you have control for your slide, the awning, lights. Uh, what's unique about Winnebago is that on their water heater it's a 10 gallon but it's propane electric and instead of having to go out and switch uh, the button on your water heater you have uh, LP switch here and electric key here which is just a high-end feature you come to expect from Winnebago. Uh, controls for the bunks there. This is another uh, exhaust fan that you can control from right here to open and close it and additional storage here and your tv is on a swivel so you can uh, get the right viewing angle that you want more storage here and that's about it for the inside uh, i can show you outside one last thing i wish all rvs included this but this one comes with a thin shade for privacy a lot of our other brands are not going to have it they're ready for it but it's about a 300 dollars option so that's just something really great that Winnebago offers a lot of other brands don't. Again, this is a Spider S30 Max. 
Of course, this is all aluminum framing. He did an enclosed underbelly. These use Asdel behind the fiberglass instead of Luan, which is like overglorified plywood. Uh, if you ever see campers where the fiberglass bubbles off, that is because it loses uh, its grip on the backer. Uh, but with this, you have less than 1% of that ch 1 chance of that happening. It's better sound insulation, uh, better thermal insulation. It's better for the environment. And this also has an extreme weather package, uh, radiant foil in the roof and in the floor. So it reflects heat during the summer and traps it during the winter. Uh, so those are a few things that's gonna separate ours from everybody else's. It does have tinted windows as well for more energy efficiency and privacy. That can be about a $2,000 value but that is included on this camper. You also have the same Jensen speakers out here as inside, which is great. Big electric awning, secondary entrance to the master, the 10 gallon propane electric water heater. Here we have the front storage with main power. This is the uh, screen I was telling you guys about that goes onto the patio door. It has two 30 pound propane tanks, which we will fill if we can end your business. We will install the battery. Uh, give you a walkthrough whether here or virtually and show you how everything works. You do have lights in the cab as well to help you to see early in the morning, late at night. One year limited bumper to bumper, three year limited structural, best in the business. This one has a unique leveling setup here. So this is where you control all of your jacks, the BAL 5.1 system. Like I said, I'm hooked up to the golf cart for 12 volt power. So that's how I'm running all the lights and everything. This is the Onan 5500 watt generator as well. And what's important about the 5500 watt versus the uh, standard one is that this operates on variable power. So if you're running uh, multiple items at once, it will raise its RPMs up uh, versus just running full open all the time as others do uh, for fuel efficiency and also to control wear and tear on the engine. Here we have a diamond plate up front to protect your RV. Exhaust for the generator, fresh water fill. Here we have the large slide. This is a Schwintech system, very reliable. Here we have a spray port for cold water for an outside shower, water inlet there. Here we have 50 amp power supply, cable satellite. It does have a fuel station, so this is where you fill, uh, fill up, and this is where the uh, fuel comes out. It does also have a ladder, collapsible ladder here. Here we have the zero G door with two LED lights. This is ready for a Voyager camera setup. What's really great about that is that you get video and audio whenever you're going down the road. LED tail lights, much brighter and safer versus others. Here we have an opening for locks there to keep your uh, toy hauler door secured. And that's about it. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Bernard against Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. I would love to join your business. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to give me a call or a text. Thanks again.